Unreal Engine 4.19 gives us some large changes and some smaller changes. So I thought I would highlight a few of the smaller changes. This video in particular is going to cover viewport changes. In the top left corner in our drop down, we now have the ability to change the editor screen percentage. This will change the render resolution for the editor viewport that you can see here. Now you can go down to 50%, things will get a little blurrier, you might get a little bit more performance from it, or you can go up to 200% if you want to get a little bit kind of like fake anti-aliasing. By default, it's going to be 100%, and in the bottom right hand corner, it'll show you if your screen percentage is above 100%. If it's below, it's going to go ahead and just simply disable it. And this is handy if maybe you want to go ahead and test some quick scalability settings. Because if you keep in mind under setting engine scalability, you can actually adjust the resolution scale or the resolution that the game is going to render at when you're playing it. Whereas this option will change the resolution in your viewport when you're in the editor. You also might notice that my viewport looks a little dark. The way that exposure has changed or auto exposure has changed in 4.19 is we no longer have an automatic setting and a drop-down list. We now have a game settings checkbox. If we enable it, it uses the game settings. Right now you can see it's disabled, so I'm using a fixed auto exposure. If I was to, well, technically no auto exposure, a fixed exposure setting. If I check this, it'll get lighter because I'm now using the auto exposure settings that I have inside my project as well as my post-processing. So if I go back here and I go down here, we have the ability to turn on manual and then you can adjust it based on EV100 values. Now I'll go ahead and go back to the default of one. We'll go ahead and turn back on game settings and now it's back to default. And this is what you're gonna see when you come in. But keep in mind it has changed. It's no longer a drop down list with plus or minus steps. It instead has a value you can set yourself. Lastly, let's say you are running around and you're tooling around on your map and it's quite big and you're finding that you just can't quite go fast enough. So we go over here, we crank our camera speed up to the max, and we're still not going fast enough. Or maybe we're not going slow enough, or we just don't like it. We now have a camera scaler. This will go ahead and take the camera speed, multiply it by your scaler, and then you'll get your end result. And that scaler can, of course, go up, and it can go down. So for example, if we wanted it really fast, we could go eight times 25, and then we'll just basically lose our map as we're trying to use it. Let's go ahead and set this back to 1, we'll drop this down to 4, and there we go. We'll go zoom it. Oops, let's go zoom back into our player. Here we go. And that's it. Those are just a few of the smaller viewport changes introduced in 4.19 that I thought you would might want to be aware of. 